G'day guys, welcome to my RX Squires feature video. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about NRL round 4 predictions for 2020. Guys, let's get started. So to kick things off, we have the Broncos versus the Roosters. Now this game is going to be a cracker of a match. Broncos have not won a lot of games I uh, heard um, they have won like probably like only one and what I can say about it, last time they were first up against the Eels they've also got beaten 34 points to 6 that was the last um, that was last week's game up against the Eels anyway but going up against Roosters now this is going to be a challenge uh, Cole Flanagan um, and something like that what I can say about it is, I reckon that um, Roosters are going to have a really good game, but they have a bad record uh, breaking loss up against um, the Broncos. And last time the Broncos played against the Roosters, Broncos bait the Roosters. Um, but last time they like, last time they played was in 2019, 17 of May. Uh, last, day, last time they beat them, uh, the Broncos beating the Roosters 15 points to 10. But I just think that this team is going to go a long way into this match. And I'm just thinking that I reckon the Roosters will definitely win this game for sure because they've got good quality players. They're highly um, coached. They're highly um, top-graded uh, side. And what I can say about it is they've got them good players. They're good, good quality players. And... I really do hope that they can win up against the Broncos because Roosters are a very hard team to beat. And for the Broncos though, they're a good side but they haven't gotten very well managed. But also, what I can say about it is the Roosters are a very good team but it has to defy where the Broncos are going to fire up tonight because uh, since they're playing tonight anyway. 750 because it is a couple of hours um, until then but anyway um, it has to defy where Broncos are going to fire up against the Roosters but if the Roosters like fire up up against the Broncos I reckon the Broncos are not going to have a very good game and I reckon Roosters will win that but I'm going to go with the Roosters though by 10 points and hopefully they can get a win by 10 points and just thinking that what I can say about it is, I reckon a couple of these boys will obviously get a try um, and obviously get line breaks and obviously make a change up against the Broncos. And I reckon that this game is going to be a really good game for the uh, Roosters. And I reckon the Broncos are going to have a poor season <coughs> up against the Roosters because Roosters are a bit very hard team to beat for the Broncos. So they're just struggling at the moment but i'm going to go with the roosters though because they are a good quality side and last time they played up against the rabbits they obviously won 28 points to 12 so i reckon that this um game is going to defy um where broncos are just going to have to aim up their game put a lot of pressure on the roosters and i reckon that hopefully if they will i reckon they'll get the job done but um i'm going to go with the roosters though by 10 points and i reckon they'll get the job done up against the broncos anyway The next game of this match, we see the Panthers going up against the Warriors. Now, this game is going to be a excuse me, it's going to be a very high intensifying match. Warriors are a very good team. They've been the Dragons last week, um, eighteen nil. Panthers have been like gotten the draw up against the Knights, um, and it's just going to be a very tight clash because the Warriors are a very good quality team. And they've gotten like a very good team. They've got a good roster. They've gotten a very good um, players, bunch of players. And they've got new players now um, joining into the Warriors now. Uh, Jermaine, to Jermaine Tanua Brown, number 10. He was absolutely a very good player um, last week up against the Dragons. He scored one try um, to making it his debut uh, for that team. I reckon though... Um, the Panthers are just gonna have to restructure their team because um, they're missing Nathan Cleary. Um, also, they're missing like a couple of the players, like Dylan Edwards, fullback. 
um, and stuff like that. So two of these players that I really know uh, are going to be missing. And basically, um, only because I think Nathan Cleary's injured or he's missing um, for suspension. Or I reckon, um, yeah, Dylan Edwards is basically going to be a very hard game to obviously beaten. Um, no, no, what I mean is though, um, Dylan Edwards is obviously injured and he's struggling at the moment um, with his, I think it's like hamstring or something like that, or his Achilles tendon. But um, what I can say about it though, I'm going to go with the Panthers by 12 points. Hopefully they can get a job done up against the Warriors. I was gonna, I was gonna pick the Warriors, but I just think that the Panthers will get the job done, and it's their home team, their home um, club, but not their home stadium because it is going to be in Campbelltown Stadium, and it's not their area, um, which is the West Tigers area. But what I can say though, I reckon the Panthers will really aim up here, and I reckon that this team will definitely defy if they're gonna like win so many um, games. But I reckon, though, that the Panthers are just going to get the job done up against the Warriors. And I reckon um, Jerome Lulay coming in against uh, Nathan Cleary. I reckon that he'll have a really good game. So will Episai Coruscant will have a great game also, too, for number nine. Uh, so will Caleb Aikens. He's been replaced by uh, Dylan Edwards. And um, also... Jim James, no, Josh Mansour, yeah, Josh Mansour, he'll be having a great game also too. I reckon he'll definitely have a good game up against the um, Warriors. But, yeah, I'm going to go with the Panthers though by 12 points and hopefully they can get the job done against the Warriors anyway. The next game of this round, we see the Storm going up against the Rabbitohs. Now, this team, this game is going to be a very hard game. I'm just going to say that... Um, the Melbourne Storm had a really good quality team. They've got a bunch of really good quality players like Ryan Pappenhausen, uh, Josh Adokar. They've got um, Suliasi Vinavalu. They've got Justin Olam. Um, also, they've got um, Marion Seve. I'm not sure if he's playing or not. Um, they also got Cameron Smith, but Cameron Smith... He's having a great match, but sometimes he just doesn't really um, turn on the um, communication like ball right. Um, but when he gets the ball, he's obviously dangerous. He's really skillful, and I just think that he's a really great player. He's been playing a lot of games, and I really do hope that the Storm are just going to get the win up against the Rabbitohs. Because Rabbitohs is a good quality football team, but sometimes they do struggle. Uh, depends on Latrell Mitchell if he does have a great game or if he does have a struggling game. I reckon that this team, Rabbitohs, are just going to have a very tight team and squad. But I just don't see the Rabbitohs winning up against the Melbourne Storm. Last time, I reckon that this team... Uh, the Rabbitohs played up against the Storm, which I probably don't know when. Um, the Storm will probably obviously win anyway. But I do hope that Melbourne Storm are a very good team. Ryan Poppenhausen is absolutely a great player um, coming in for the fullback side. He's just so skillful, fast, powerful, and he just dominates the football very well. Um, and also Josh Adokar, which he's so fast and so skillful and powerful. And obviously um, damages with the ball. And, like, I'm just going to say this. Cameron Munster also, too, he's an absolute freak of a player. Um, and, yeah, what I can say about it also, too, I just do think that the Melbourne Storm are going to get the job done up against the Rabbitohs. But it will be a hard game. It will be a very definite win or definite not I reckon that the Rabbitohs will probably get a win here but what I can say though it's just going to be hard though because um, the Rabbitohs are a very good squad but um, the Melbourne Storm are a definite chance of winning this because they've obviously gone Ryan Poppenhausen um, and 
someone else. But uh, what I can say about it also too, I just think that um, the Melbourne Storm obviously win this match by six points. So I'm going to tip them anyway by six points. And obviously, if they win, I'll be definitely proud of myself. But if they lose, I'll be probably disappointed or surprised. But anyway, um, I'm going to say that I'm going to go with the Melbourne Storm though by six points and hopefully they can get the job done up against the Rabbitohs anyway. The next game of this round, we see the Eels going up against the Seagulls. Now, this team, like this match, last time they played up against um, the Manly Seagulls, we obviously won that game. And I just think that we're going to win, obviously, too. Um, and what I can say about it is I just think that this team is obviously going to be very crucial because I reckon that since Tom Trevojevic is coming into that uh, squad, it's going to be really difficult to put um, Clint Gutherson onto that position. But when Mike Osivo, um basically stood his ground of basically running with the ball, <sighs> damages with the ball, and obviously, like, when he does, he's just so powerful and so skillful. With his speed, is absolutely excellent. But with Blake Ferguson coming into that squad, I really do think that um, up against Ruben Garrick, those two um, quality uh, players, hopefully, if they can get the job done, um, Blake Ferguson, obviously, will probably will get a try. Uh, but... I really do hope that the Eels definitely went up against the Manly Seagulls, only because Tom Trevojevic was there. But last but not least, though, um, when they played up against Bulldogs last week, they obviously smashed the Bulldogs 32 points to 6. So let's do hope that we don't get smashed by Manly Seagulls. Um, and let's do hope that... Um, we do score, and we put a lot of pressure up against the Manly Seagulls anyway. But I'm going to go with the um, Parramatta Eels, though, by 14 points. And I reckon that this game will be an excellent game, but it will be a very, very hard decision to make um, if the um, Manly Seagulls puts a lot of pressure up on the Parramatta Eels anyway. But what I can say about it is I reckon that the Parramatta Eels will win up against the Manly Seagulls anyway. The next game of this round, we see the Cowboys going up against the Sharks. Now, this game will be a very high-intensifying game, but without Jason Tamalolo, without Michael Morgan, without Jordan... Oh, wait, no. Not Jordan Kahu. Um, without um, further ado, also... But, actually, what I can say about it was... Um, since Valentine Holmes is coming into that squad, I reckon that he'll uh, have a good game. Scott Drinkwater will definitely have a good game. And also, um, Jake Clifford will definitely have a good game also too. But what I can say about it is, um, the Sharks have lost three matches in a row, and it's just gonna be very hard on them. And I do think that um, Sharks need to chew for a win. Um, because if they do, I'll definitely be really surprised. But I'm going to um, tip the Sharks by 20 points, and I reckon that this game is going to be a very high-intensifying match up against the Cowboys, and I reckon that um, the Sharks will definitely put a lot of points up up against this team, the Cowboys, and I reckon that this team will basically be very hard to put a lot of points up on um, the Cowboys but what I can say though the Cowboys have won a couple of games but not up against Broncos though but then what I can say about also too I reckon that when this game happens usually the Cowboys usually win this but going up against Sharks I do not think that the Sharks will probably win. I reckon that the Cowboys will probably win, and I reckon the Sharks will probably get embarrassing um, win, like loss anyway. But if the Sharks obviously lose, that means it's going to be four straight losses, and it's got even going to put pressure on them anyway. But without Chad Townsend, Chad Townsend is a very good player, 
um, of mine, and he's absolutely very um, tight to the depth. But without further ado, also to um, one thing I can say about it is, I reckon the Sharks will have a very good game, and I reckon the Cowboys will probably have a very struggling game. But I'm going to go with the Sharks, though, by 20 points. Hopefully they can win up against the Cowboys, and I reckon that this game will be an absolutely great game of football anyway. The next game of this round, we see the Raiders going up against the Knights. Now, this game is going to be a very high-intensifying match. Um, also, with Chance Nickel Klockstad um, versus Kalen Ponga, those two fullbacks. Uh, since Kalen Ponga is basically back uh, due to um, Tex Hoy replacing him, what I can say about it is I reckon that Tex Hoy had a great game, but Kalen Ponga is more of an um, experienced player and Tex Hoy is more of a development player. But when Tex Hoy is a very good player, he just usually gets the ball and obviously runs with it. But since he's on number 14, the backup for um, if Kalen Ponga, say for instance, if he's injured or not, like since if he's like hurt or injured or HIA or something like that, I reckon Tex Hoy would definitely come into that fullback squad, and I reckon he'll have a, I reckon he'll have a very good game. Um, and what I can say about it for Raiders, I reckon that the Raiders are a very good team. They have a very high intensifying win. And they have a good quality squad, like even um, Josh Hodgson. They've got Chance Nickel Klockstad, Jack Whiten. Um, they've got George Williams, number seven from England. They even got um, Sevilla Havili, Se Sevilla Havili, Josh Papali, uh, Sia Soliola. They've gotten so much players, but since when Joseph Leilua, um went out of that um, team. I reckon still the Raiders are a very good team and what I do recommend of this team, I reckon that um, the Raiders will definitely put a lot of pressure up against the Knights and definitely a better chance of it is I reckon that um, the Knights will definitely struggle for that game. Plus, since Mitch uh, Pierce, like Mitchell Pierce, has um, an injury, I think due to the nose or something like that, uh, or a head knock, I think so. And due to Connor Watson being uh, the knee injury, which I don't see that description of what uh, the injury was, uh, I reckon that the Raiders will definitely put a lot of uh, points up up against the Knights. And I reckon that this game will definitely have a brilliant uh, game. And I'm going to go with the Raiders, though, by 12 points. And hopefully they can win up against the Knights anyway. The next game of this round, we see the Titans going up against the West Tigers. Now, this game is just going to be a very easy game. Titans are just playing terrible. Justin Holbrook needs to develop their players and fix them. Because every single time they play up against like either Eels or Broncos or something like that, they just keep getting beaten, 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 and beaten. But they've lost three straight games. And if they lose four games, they're just going to be absolutely terrible team. And they need to restructure their squad because what I can say about it, I just think that um, the Titans will definitely have a lot of things to like restructure about. But for the West Tigers though, um, since Harry Grant played a very good game up against the Cronulla Sharks last week, I reckon he's going to have a very good game. I reckon he's going to score a try. And I reckon um, since that is going to happen, Adam Dewey played a very good game also too. So I reckon he's obviously going to score a try. But what I can say for the West Tigers, they're going to put a lot of points up, up against the Titans. And I'm going to pick the West Tigers here. And I'm going to tip by 18 points. And I just think that this game is going to be a very high intensifying match. But what I do reckon is this game is going to really be easy because I know for a fact that West Tigers are obviously going to win. But I'll be surprised if um, if the Titans will probably like win this, but I highly doubt that they won't. 
um, they'll be a very good um, game for the West Tigers and I reckon that Titans will just be very struggling and they need to have a lot of like depth and like a lot of restructuring to their squad and but what I can say about it is I'm going to go with the West Tigers though by 18 points anyway. And finally, the next game of this round, we see the Bulldogs going up against the Dragons. Now, this game is just going to be a very um, low-scoring match. Two of these teams have lost three straight losses, and both of them need to get a win. But I highly doubt that uh, the Dragons will definitely get a lot of points. But the Bulldogs have gotten a uh, very high attempting fight form. Like, but when they attack, they attack with a lot of pressure. But when that defense is not really that good. So, also, what I can say about it is, I'm going to go with um, the Bulldogs, though, by 10 points. Only because the Dragons are just struggling now with Paul McGregor either s get, getting sacked, or if they win, they probably won't get him sacked. But what I can say about it also, too, I'm going to go Bulldogs because... They've got a lot of very um, good squad. They've got like very bunch of good quality um, players, like Dylan with Tennis Lesniak, Nick Meany, Remus Smith, um, like say maybe Kieran Foran or uh, Lachlan Lewis. But what I can say about it also too, I'm gonna go with them because they are a very good team. But since Matt Dufty is basically shifted to the, either number 18 or number 19, um, I just don't think that the Dragons will put a lot of pressure up against the Bulldogs. But what I can t say about it is, the, Bull like, the Dragons um, have gotten shifted because uh, Corey Norman's coming in for fullback. Matt Dufty's gone to re the reserves. Um, and something like that. So, yeah. I'm just going to go with them because um, the Bulldogs are a very good team. Uh, I really do hope that the Bulldogs just get a win because last time they burst up against Manly, they obviously lost by 30 points or something like that. But what I do reckon is I'm going to go with them because um, the Bulldogs are a very good team and I reckon they'll put a lot of pressure and they'll come out firing up against the Dragons anyway. So I'm going to go with the Bulldogs by 10 points anyway and they will win this match by 10 points and I reckon that this game will be a brilliant match anyway. Thanks guys for watching my video guys. Stay tuned for more. I will be doing a couple of videos coming to you guys soon. Also, I'll be doing more videos coming to you guys soon, so stay tuned for more. Plus, leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and for this video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, take care, guys. Stay safe and have a good one. Plus, let's get up to 150 subscribers. We're sitting up to 147 subscribers. Thanks so much, guys. You guys have been really helping me getting up to a lot of subscribers. Thanks so much, guys. Need three more to get up to 150. And then after that... 200 subscribers will be reaching after 150 anyway but let's get up to that anyway because i am reaching to that goal and obviously reaching to so many people that obviously love me anyway for my youtube channel but let's get up to that anyway and i'll see you guys in my next video until then take care guys and have a good one